This is your League City Animal Shelter Volunteer Weekly Update. For community outreach, adoption, and special events, of course, we have Autumn Leaves, which is every fourth Tuesday of the month. The next visit will be Tuesday, January 26th from 10 to 11 a.m. Um, we also have the Animal Care and Safety presentation that will be at Helen Hall Library on February 4th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we'll be doing a little presentation and a little show and tell with dogs um, to the kids group at the Helen Hall Library. Um, we have the Crazy Cat People Adoption Event, which will also be held at the Helen Hall Library. That'll be February 13th from 2 to 4 p.m. We'll be doing a full-blown adoption event on all cats. So that'll be one. We normally do a lot of dogs for adoption events, so this is the one time we actually get to do a cat adoption event. So um, please sign up and help for that. Um, we also ha will be doing the second annual Kitten and Puppy Shower um, that's hopefully going to begin on March 1st when we start getting donations for all the bottle fed um, puppies and kittens that normally we have a rush during the springtime year so we need a lot of supplies for that. Um, we have the Pasadena Paws and Claws Adopt-a-thon. That'll be March 5th through 6th. It's just like the Paws and Claws Adopt-a-thon we do every August. Um, but this time it will be held in Pasadena. Um, this will be the first time they're doing for volunteer training and meetings, we have open house would be January 14th at 10 a.m. and January 23rd at 10 a.m. Um, we also have the PetSmart team meeting, which will be January 11th. That will be next Monday at 5.30 p.m. at the Lake City Civic Center. This is for all PetSmart helpers and leads. So please, everyone, try to be there. We'll be going over different things such as schedule, um, paperwork, um, setting up, breaking down, all of those things that we need to talk about for PetSmart to keep it going every weekend. So please, if you're a lead or a helper, sign up for this meeting so we can um, go over that type of stuff. For shelter news, we have 40 over 40. It's all dogs over 40 pounds or $40. Um, that would be at least for the month of January. So go ahead and spread that around. There is a post on Facebook. Um, we do have flyers. I can print some out for you if you like to post some in different places. So um, we are trying to get these big dogs out of here. You know, they, they tend to stay here longer than the smaller dogs. So let's promote this. Let's get all the big dogs out of here and into homes. Um, also, we'll be doing a volunteer program survey. Uh, last year I did one and this year I'm going to repeat it. Um, it is anonymous and it's just to let me know um, what can be approved, um, improved or what's going right, what's going wrong with the volunteer program so we can keep growing and continue um, to be better. So um, look for your email for that. Check your spam to make sure it doesn't go into there. It should be going out today. So um, just check your email and please fill that out as soon as possible. Thanks. Um, and then help needed, PetSmart is on this weekend. We will be doing it at both Lake City and Baybrook. So please, all helpers and leads, go ahead and start signing up for that if you're available. It's particularly at Baybrook, we haven't been there in a while. So um, if you are available to do PetSmart, go ahead and sign up um, on the volunteer page. And for Volunteer Spotlight, I'd like everybody to meet Sue. Uh, Sue is one of our feline friend and canine companion volunteers. Um, Sue is one of our long-term volunteers. She's been doing this longer than I've been the volunteer coordinator. <laughs> and um, she's always willing to help in whatever position is needed. Um, she's a lover of all animals, but she definitely has a soft spot for cats. Um, not only does she volunteer at the shelter, but she also has helped in numerous other ways, such as she's donated some lovely beds for the cats um, and the dogs, and she's been a regular she was a regular helper at our storefront um, she's always got a smile on her face she's always talking to everybody asking how they're doing so thank you so much Sue for being such a wonderful volunteer and continuing to volunteer and donate to us here at the shelter all right, and I'd like to make a special announcement. We do have the final count for adoptions for 2015. If you haven't seen it on Facebook, we did 1,254 adoptions in the year of 2015. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, lots of happy tales. Uh, considering we are such a small shelter, we really do work really hard to get these animals into homes. And I'd definitely like to commend the volunteers because we couldn't have done it without you. And we couldn't have adopted out this many animals without all of your help so thank you so much 
for all of your hard work in 2015. If I don't say it enough to you, um, we really, really appreciate it, me and the staff and everybody here. So um, congratulations on that number, and let's beat this for 2016, and hopefully we can do, you know, 1,500 or something adoptions <laughs> for 2016. So, again, thank you, everybody. 2015 was fantastic, and there's only good things to come. And that is it, everybody. Just thank you so much, volunteers. I hope everyone had a good new year. And um, hopefully in 2016, we've got a lot of new things coming up and going on. So um, just continue to volunteer and thanks.